I actually spend more time on Instagram than I care to admit. I follow my husband because he sometimes says something nice about me. I follow I Swoon, Athena Calderon, just a ton of different design traveling sites. For a podcast, how I built this, I think is super interesting. I like the approach, let's say. Every morning I have to have a cup of coffee and I have to have at least 10 minutes before I go upstairs and get the kids. That 10 minutes of quiet is like completely a reset button for me. I read at night, every night, and I start to panic if I'm in a really great book and I notice that I'm getting to the last final chapter. So reading for me is the way that I sort of leave and then come back. In terms of books, Current read, Shantaram, is magical, lyrical, beautiful. I've always loved A Little Life. For those of you who haven't read that book, do yourself a favor. It's, it's one of the best books I've ever read. And then the carryover from childhood, which I find myself reading again and again, is A Yellow Raft in Blue Water. The one app that I can't live without would be Curb. It's the taxi app here in New York City, so you don't have to dig for your wallet and get your credit card out. But I also can't live without Sortly. It's an inventory app for everything. And all of the furniture and paintings and things I've collected, which are spread out in all these different cities, are all in one app, and it's awesome. I get that gift giving is like fraught with all of this like emotion. It doesn't have to be that complicated. If you find a product you really love, just give them that. Like for instance, Zab's hot sauce. I am not being paid to endorse this, but I put it on my eggs and I was like, this is delicious. So if I like it, I, I guess somebody else would like it. It's a cute gift too, right?